That's the night. There's a problem. Right over here. about speed wobble. So on every skateboard, there are things called trunks. These green things are trucks. They hold the wheels, and they control how easily the skateboard tilts from left to right. The looser the trucks, the easier it is to tilt in one direction, and the easier it is to turn. The faster you go, the faster you turn. The looser your trucks, the easier you turn. I had loose trucks, and I was going about 30 miles an hour. All that together equals speed wobble. Let me show you exactly where I wiped out. Now considering that I live in suburban Illinois, hills are not something that you think I would encounter. Unfortunately, the area where I was skating has two... This is the point where I wiped out. I was going probably 25 to 30 miles an hour, and I landed right here on this concrete. It hurt a lot, but I didn't feel it. It's really amazing what the human body can do, because I didn't even realize that I had broken anything until I had gotten into the emergency room and had sat there for about an hour and a half. At that point, I realized I had broken something, and that something was probably my elbow. So, Speed Wobble put me out for about six weeks, which stinks. It could have been so much worse though. I only left with a fractured elbow. It could have been my head. I wasn't wearing a helmet. And uh, I only left with a fractured elbow and some scrapes all over my arm. This broken elbow really set me back. I plan on making a vlog every day for the whole summer. That included all the traveling that I plan on doing in, in about two weeks. But because I have this broken arm, it's gonna be very difficult. So far, I have to use my left hand to do everything. I can barely hold any weight in my right arm. So, holding camera equipment, editing video, and getting around while using a camera is gonna be super tough. I'm not gonna let it set me back. So, my commitment to you is to make a vlog a day for the whole summer. And starting today, I'm going to a concert. Time to change. Better. All right, so I'm about to go get some sushi at my favorite sushi place with Tim. He's picking me up and then we're going to the concert. But I think, I think he's waiting for me outside and you do not want to leave Tim waiting. <coughs> I'm coming! Ready to go? Yeah. Ugh. I, they're not gonna cancel it, right? No, Ravinia doesn't cancel it. Great sushi. I'm still going. All right, sushi was amazing. Good, man. Sushi was great. Um, oh. We're done now. 
And now we're off to the concert, and luckily it stopped raining so hard. Yucca? Highly is recommended. Highly recommended. So we're taking a pit stop because one of my wounds is kind of oozing and I I feel better if it was covered. So we're stopping at a uh, at a jewel. Okay, so let's take one of these. Plastic pads. Large rolled gauze. That's important. Just come out. Thank you. Oh, there the fountain. So now that we're here, you want to get some uh, ice cream? Yeah, sure. I got some ice cream. I got a cappuccino or something. And Tim got an M&M's ice cream sandwich. All right, so we're seated in the pavilion right now. Um, the lights are on at about half an hour, half an hour till, so, till showtime. Right? About 25 minutes. 25 minutes, minutes yeah. yeah. And our seats are pretty good. Look at that. So we just got done with the, we just got done with the concert. Watch your step. Oh yeah, it was incredible. It rained and it stormed, but it was worth it. Everyone packed in to the uh, to the middle. Yeah, so we even got better seats than we had initially Cars out. paid for, which is awesome. Um, <laughs> and what's better is he that met the conductor. I met the conductor. Sorry. We stayed about I don't know 10, 15 minutes after everyone left, and we kind of waited by this uh, back door area, hoping to maybe meet Seth because that'd be awesome for the vlog, yeah. but instead <laughs> I met Joel McNeely, who is the conductor and orchestrator for a lot of uh, Seth's, Seth's pieces, and he uh, wrote a million ways to die in the west. He wrote a million ways to die in the west. He writes for American Dad. It was just so cool. I'm still a little bit starstruck, but um, man, what a great way to end the vlog. <laughs> um, so thanks for tuning in um, to this episode. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. But today has been incredible, and thanks for coming along for the ride. Glad I couldn't come, <laughs> man. <laughs> All right. Also, my camera died, so that's why this is on my phone. <laughs> All right. Good night, guys. Bye bye. We're drinking, my friend. <laughs> Woo! To the end. Brief and Michelle.